The Nobel Peace Prize going to an Iranian activist in prison. Nargis Mohammadi continues to speak out against the oppression of women in her home country. She accepted that honor from behind bars. Our national correspondent Alex Miller reports. Son, Sendegi Azadi. Women, life, freedom. The plight of Iranian women front and center on the global stage as longtime human rights activist Narjas Mohammadi wins the 2023 Nobel Peace Prize. She has a sentence she always repeats. Every single award will make me more intrepid, more resilient, and more brave for realizing human rights, freedom, civil equality, and democracy. Mohammadi's rap sheet fighting for women's rights is a long one. 13 arrests and currently serving a decades-long prison sentence, including 154 lashes. She's been in prison for the better part of the last two decades, right now for propaganda against the state and actions against national security. She got an additional year tacked on for giving an interview about sexual assault in jail during her sentencing for publishing a book and documentary about prison methods, including solitary confinement. Sanam Vakil, director of Middle East and North African programs at the Chatham House, says this win could create even more trouble for Mahamudi. There is, of course, a great risk that she will be um, having a longer, lengthier prison sentence put into solitary confinement. And her and, and other women like her who are in jail uh, will be uh, bearing a bigger price for this international attention. It's been seven years since she's seen her children. 11 since she's seen her husband. Her son Ali could barely contain his excitement for his mom's award. At 11 o'clock, my heart stopped because as soon as I made my last swipe on my phone, I knew she'd won and I couldn't shout out in class. I was so happy. But deep down, I was. I wanted to explode inside myself. All of this comes as a teenage Iranian girl's injury is being questioned by activists in Iran. 16-year-old Armida Garavan, shown in this video boarding a metro train in Iran's capital without a headscarf, is captured moments later being carried off the train. Activists believe police injured her for not covering up as required by Iranian law. Morality police are back on the street after a year of protests sparked by the death of Masa Amini last year, and lawmakers are trying to tighten restrictions again. Activists say Garavand is in a coma and are calling for a UN investigation into the cause of her injury. The family says it may have been a blood pressure issue. A friend says she hit her head on the platform. There has been no confirmation on the circumstances, but it's widely known that families are often pressured to make supportive statements of the Iranian government's narrative. Mohammadi most recently railed against this very issue, calling it hypocrisy from religious authorities. The Nobel Committee says it hopes her win sends a message to women around the world in similar situations. Have the courage. Keep on going. We want to send the message to Iran that we recognize their work, we support them, and I hope the price will give uh, Nargis Mohammadi the courage to keep going. Alex Miller, Scripps News, New York.